Nestled inside one of the most expensive neighborhoods in America, sits an abandoned $15 million mega mansion that was once owned by the famous singer Kenny Rogers. However, now it is nothing more than a nuisance for neighbors as grass grows tall and weeds start to form all around the property. Built back in 1990, it features six beautiful bedrooms along with over 15,000 square feet of space inside. However, the mansion was sold by Kenny in 2006 to a wealthy Nigerian family who hosted many rappers for music videos inside, such as 21 Savage, Offset, and Russ. The town eventually got tired of everything happening inside the walls and shut it down. Ever since 2018, the mansion has been suffering from signs of neglect and no definite future. Let's take a look at everything left inside. Alright, so we're starting the video off right here. These are the front doors. As you can see, there's two layers. There's like the gate outside. When you open that, then is the main front doors. And as we can see through the driveway, let's look through this window actually. Nice fountain, nice rails, and a big driveway as well. But as you walk into this place, I'm in absolute awe. Look at this. This is so nice. This doesn't come out on camera how cool this place actually is. Wow. As we walk to the middle, look at these pillars, these room columns right here. The design on them is so cool too. Look at the chandelier. It's like glimmering. Then right up top. Wow. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, there is no furniture left in this house, but, or minimal furniture, but the, the design here is already making this the favorite mansion I've ever explored. The staircases are kind of lame though. There is one over here, and then one symmetrically on the other side right there. And it's just a little spiral staircase with a nice light on in the middle. So it is cool. The power is still on in this mansion, guys, by the way. But take a look at the detail that was used in this hand railing. Look at this. And the carpet on the stairs. Very cool, too. I really like these gold fixtures right here, too. It gives it a cool look. If it was just the carpet. I don't know, it would be kind of bland. But moving on to this room, directly to the left of the first staircase, is maybe some sort of like living room. The chandeliers are quite nice. Oh, actually, no. This was a dining room. This was definitely a dining room. I think the table would have been kept right here on this carpet. Because right to the left of this room is the massive kitchen they used to have. The lights look kind of like uh, mushrooms. These banners are really cool too. Behind the lights. Wow. And of course right here, nice fireplace. It is fake. But the design on it, of course is really cool too. I'm assuming there might have been some sort of TV right here, just judging by the cords. But it got taken out, unfortunately. After this place closed, pretty much all the furniture was taken out and it was just abandoned. But walking over here to the kitchen, it is a very, very big kitchen. Very nice island in the middle. And of course, really, really cool chandeliers. Got the mushrooms on them too. And the lighting in this kitchen is really cool because under the cabinets, take a look at that lighting. That's really sick. And right here's the sink. And right above it, this is cool. And right here, maybe a little dining room as well. I feel like this would have been a dining room for maybe main meals or when people came over. 
And this right here would have been just like a casual dining room, maybe for just breakfast or like non-formal meals. Really cool ceiling up above and a really nice chandelier too. It kind of looks like water droplets on it. And there's a good view of the outside too. And it's really cool how the brush is pretty much like growing against the windows and really taking this place over slowly. Wow, a little look at the outside. Very beautiful place though. The archways are really cool too. It's a very good addition to that. Let's take a look at the outside real quick though. The back of the house. I can't tell if that's a pool or if it was a fountain. I feel like it was a pool. I think it was a pool, yeah. But there's a nice pool house right there. We might check it out later. But as you can see, everything is growing over. So much brush and vines just growing all over. Wow. But as we go to this corner, this side of the mansion before we go upstairs, we see a very, very nice fireplace. It's very big, very elaborate. And right above it is a cool painting as well. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It looks like a bunch of scribbles, but I guess people have their taste in art. Oh, wow. Take a look at this. A whole room just made of wood. And right here, of course, is another spiral staircase going up just like the one we just saw on the left side. But this one's actually different. The handrails are made of wood instead of the metal that the other one was. I think the light fixture might be a bit different too. I'm not completely sure. But the natural lighting coming in is very cool. But I really like this room a lot though. Take a look at the design up there. thing about this, all the toilets, they have the, the automatic toilet seats right, so if you go over here, kind of wave your hand around, it opens by itself. That's so cool. And of course you could adjust the settings in the back, like you can make it like a heated toilet seat, and all sorts of stuff. That's really neat. The sink is even really cool. There's even soap still left as well. But taking a move on to the last section of the first floor that we haven't seen. Seems to be another type of living room right here. Really cool fan up above. I really like the design of this. And a cool fact about this place, I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro or not, but the cops were caught on this place over a hundred times during the years because of the wild parties that it would have. I mean, it is a nice house, but... And it's really fascinating how all the, uh, the music videos were filmed here. If any of you guys recognize this place from any music video if you've watched, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. We should go up the stairs and check out the second floor. I'm really excited to check it out. Let's go up. Very, very cool spiral staircase. I like it a lot. Okay, but here we are. Wow. Of course, more pillars up here and more archways. The design of this place is very, very nice, very elaborate. And we can take a look at the chandelier from above and we can really see how big it is. And this section right here is the front door. And this is the chandelier that illuminates it. 
Look at that. And what's really cool about this place, maybe not the coolest thing, but the heat is on. So it's kind of cold outside. It's, you know, it's an early winter day. It's kind of misty. But you know, I'm warm because the heat's on, which is really cool. But going over here to the first section, the second floor we're gonna see is the gym. This place had its own gym. This is one of my dreams, having a gym in my house. It seems like most of the furniture, most of the equipment has been taken out, unfortunately. There's only these two pieces of equipment left. This looks like some sort of leg machine, maybe. But it's cool that there's mirrors all around. That's really neat. And then through this door right here is a sauna. So after a nice workout, you can just hop in in the sauna and relax a bit. But past the closet, this is definitely one of the best sections of this house, no doubt. This is the master bathroom. This bathroom is literally bigger than, I don't want to say my house, but like the whole upstairs of my house. This is beautiful. There's like whole sections to this bathroom. Wow. Imagine taking a bath here and just being able to look at this. Taking a bath and having a nice fire in the fireplace right there. I really like the lion as well on the fireplace. There's even a candle here. You can light a bunch of candles while you take your bath. Jeez. But over here is the, the kind of sink section. You can, you know, wash your hands, do your makeup, whatever you need to do. And on either side of this bathroom is a, kind of like a half bathroom in this room. There's one here and one on the other side of it. He looks like a remote. Oh. Oh, yeah. Toilet totally seat works. That's so cool, dude. But this here is a really fascinating part. Take a look at this. If you go in here, it's its own private closet. But the cool thing about it is there's multiple rooms in the closet. Maybe for like different types of clothes. I really like the light. That's so cool. Wow. But as we go over here, it kind of smells like my grandma for some reason, but it's a cool light up there. They don't work. Or I haven't turned them on, but there's a cool plant up there too. It seems fake or else they'd be dead. But as we go along this hallway, there's multiple of these rooms closed by curtains that you can get into. And I'm assuming there would have been multiple hundreds of clothes, hundreds of like shoes, jackets, pants, you know, in each of these rooms. This is kind of cool too. It's kind of like a posing area. You can stand right here. You can look at yourself in the mirror. Wow. Unfortunately, all the clothes were taken out. I would have really loved it if they were still here. That would have been a treat to take a look at everything. But just one more look at the, the closet. It's very nice. I definitely do like it a lot. They definitely did not hold back on making this place as nice as it could be. It even has rocks over here. I'm assuming this could have even been like a fountain. Like water bit would have been like streaming here. That's so cool. And this right here, it's kind of like a see-through, kind of like glass. This is right here. It's like a window and you could see the bathtub from here. And right here is no doubt the best room in this place. This is the master bedroom. Take a look at this. These lights can be turned on, like that one can be turned on. And there's even lights down here by the steps. <laughs> oh my dude, this is so cool. Look at this bed right here in the middle. Wow, look 
at this. You can't beat this. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at that. There's even a fireplace here too. And cozy up. And what if there were even statues here too? That would be so cool. But again, taking one more look at this room from this side, from the back. This is nice. Wow. This is amazing. Even the doors are really cool. Let's go over here real quick. Take a look at this. Yeah. This is neat. It's really nice. And right before we check out the last part of the second floor, I just want to take a little bit and look at the back of this house. Look at that. You can see how it's really being overgrown and nature is really taking over it. Has a nice pool, very symmetric. I do like that a lot. And the pool house back there, it seems to have like a bar, which is sort of like a mini restaurant, where like parties would be here. You can just go back there, have a drink, take a dip in the pool. Okay, but let's go on to the last part of the second floor. Passing the wooden spiral staircase that we went up is this room. This seems to be a bedroom. It's not as lavish as the master bedroom. Definitely not. But there's a cool chandelier up here. I'm assuming a bed would have been somewhere. Maybe like a desk, a few things. But it has its own private bathroom as well. And closet in that corner. And of course all the bathrooms have the automatic toilet seat. I really like that. I'm fascinated by this. All right, let's go over here. Wave our hand around. What do we gotta do? Do you gotta tap it? How do you open this? Oh, all right, you gotta give it a little nudge, but it opens for you. That's sick, it's fascinating. And it looks like this room even had a lock to it. That's really cool. Cool to see. This seems to be the last room in this mansion right here. And the cool thing about this place is that it's not that big when you think about it. There's not that many bedrooms. There's not that much space inside, but it really makes up for it with the design and all the money put in to making this place look the way it looks like, you know? Where's this stuff? Why is there fur? on the shower curtain, that's kind of weird. All right, let's go in this area in the back. Let's see what's up with this. Let's go in real quick. Yeah, this is nice. It's kind of got like a tropical feel because of that right there. That has a nice big TV. And I'm assuming this would have been a bar. And a nice fireplace too. But this right here, guys, is the outside of the mansion. You can see how big it is and how grand very, very nice. Very cool place. Alright guys, we're going to be ending off the video here. I definitely enjoyed it a lot. We're buying my favorite area of the house. The kind of like main area with the chandeliers. This is definitely really, really cool to see. Especially because it was owned by like a, a famous person, you know. Music videos were played here. But definitely really cool if you like to make sure to like, subscribe, and see you next time.